LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, bye bye, on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. All right, folks, I'm going to tell you do something. I'm going to tell you do something right now, okay? Now, I got this article and I started reading and I started laughing, you know. So, Paige Van Zandt, uh, reportedly, she's moving back out to Oregon and she already bought a house out there and everything. Um, <laughs> well, you know what? I can't blame Paige, so to say. If you're not getting what you want, you know, out of where you at, at your gym, then leave. And I think that's her mentality, you, you know. And so, okay, so you're right, Faber. He, he, he said, well, Paige hasn't really, hadn't said that she's left the gym. She hadn't said anything about leaving the gym. Paige has been kind of in and out. Uh, yeah, Uriah. She's been in getting her stuff and leaving. That's what she's been doing. I mean, Uriah, common sense. Go look around. Go look at her locker. Is her stuff, most of her stuff still there? If some of her stuff is missing or the majority of it is gone, Uriah, she's leaving. She's probably going to use up all her time that she got at the gym because she paid for it. She's probably going to go on and use that all up. And then she's going to get the hell out of Dodge. Folks, that's just the way that, that's just the way that is. Paige Van Zandt is out. Reportedly, Paige done already bought a house out in Oregon. Reportedly. The girl done bought a house. You think she's going to commute back and forth to your gym? To or <laughs> How are you going to explain this? How is Uriah Faber going to explain this? How was how, how he going to explain this, y'all? <laughs> I don't think he can explain this. I don't think Uriah Faber can explain this one, y'all. I, I, I just don't. I mean, what, what the hell is he thinking? You know, here's the first extreme. This is what I think. I think Paige Van Zandt is tired of taking these ass whoopings. Folks, that's my first extreme. Th this is what I think. I think she's tired of taking these ass whoopings, and I think Paige need a change of scenery. You know, and you know she's been training with Chris Cyborg, and you know Cyborg, definitely Cyborg been smacking her around the gym. You know that. Cyborg probably been in there, and Cyborg need that paper, okay? Cyborg need the paper. I'm just telling y'all now, so yes, that's why Cyborg would say, I train with Ronda Rousey, I train with uh, Paige Van Zandt. Cyborg need the paper. All Cyborg ain't going to be doing. Cyborg going to show her some few things that she ain't never seen. And then Paige Van Zandt going to be starstruck. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to train with Chris. Yeah, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. See, that's what's going to happen. I guarantee you Paige going to be spending more time with Chris Cyborg. I promise you. Hell, I would train with Chris Cyborg. If I was still in MMA, I'd be in there with Cyborg. Cyborg don't take it easy. That girl's a workaholic. Cyborg could be in there smacking you upside the head, hitting you with the mix. You trying to hold mitts, Cyborg smacking you in the side of the head with the mix. No, no, it's not right. Do over, do over. See, that's Cyborg. That's what she'll be doing. Or Cyborg could be trying to, you know, beat you down on a... On Cyborg, we just sparring, Cyborg. We just sparring. Take it easy. You know, Cyborg could be doing all kind of stuff. And I know she in there slapping, slapping the hell out of Paige Van Zandt. Probably telling her, get up, Paige. You, 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 you want to be tough girl? Slap. Come on, fight. <laughs> Cyborg in there whooping her ass. But you know what? Paige Van Zandt need that. She need to get beat up. I think training with Chris Cyborg would do wonders for her career. Folks, that's just how that is. That's just the way that is. Because right now, you got people who not even in, you got people who not even in the UFC talking about they can whoop Paige Van Zandt ass. I'm, t I'm trying to tell y'all. You got people who ain't even in, they, 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 they down in, in the bottom feeder organization saying that they'll go in there and beat the heck out. They'll beat Paige's ass. She need a change of scene. Now, that's the first scenario. Now, it's been rumored that Paige Van Zandt had this little crush on Uriah Faber. It's, it's been a rumor. And, you know, now, I I, I don't know. Because Uriah Faber said, nah, I ain't trying to holler at her. You know, she was with my boy Cody uh, Gambrant. You know, she was with him. And, you know, I ain't really trying to holler at her like that because, you know, she was with my boy. Paraphrasing in my own words, you know. But Paige, they say Paige had a crush on Uriah. Now, that, that, that part of this is a rumor, okay? Maybe she did. The article said Paige did. Uriah took off his little shirt, and then, you know, Paige started, you know, smiling and grinning and all this other hot garbage. That's what she started doing. And, uh, you know, maybe Paige kind of got upset because Uriah won't, you know, turn that over and tap it one time. God, I'm just trying. I'm looking at all scenarios. I know some of y'all, Coach, why, why would you say that? I'm going to unsubscribe. Ah, 
Okay, nobody care about y'all effeminate dudes. I mean, folks, that's just how that. That's just the way that is. That's just the way that is. You know, folks. I. You know. Some of y'all shouldn't be so butt hurt all the time. Some of y'all butts hurt so much, man. Y'all need some preparation age. But I mean, you know, is this gonna be a good look for Paige? Yeah, I, I think Paige need to be there with Cyborg. I think they she need to be in that camp. Cause Paige is doing too much stuff, man. And I can't even blame, I can't blame you right now. I can't blame them. It's Paige. Paige ain't committed fully to getting better at fighting. Paige wanna be a model. Paige wanna, you know, go around and this is another UFC fighter, you know, showing a lot of skin and getting mad followers on, on Instagram and Facebook. Folks, that's just the way that it. That's just the way that is. Paige got to get serious about getting in that gym and, and and letting some people beat her up in that gym. Paige got to Paige got to pay her dues right now. Cause right now, I'm just saying, y'all. I'm I'm just saying in my head. I don't know, but I don't think Paige been serious about fighting. That's just my opinion. Maybe she have been serious, and maybe I can't I can't see it. So maybe this girl really want to get serious. But if not, you know what? Hell. I mean, the WWE can use her, you know? They will, they'll put in one of them scanty little outfits and that's what they'll do. I'm just trying to tell y'all, at least she wouldn't have to worry about getting beat up backstage by any of the divas. She probably could beat all of them down. She could beat them up. You know, she probably could beat them up. But you know, that, that remains to be seen. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know where Paige's career is going. I don't know. But I do know that, you know, the girl is up out of there. And some of y'all gonna see Paige will never leave Team Alpha Male. She went, watch. And then when it's reported that she finally left, I'm gonna say, I, try, I tried to tell y'all. I'm gonna say, I tried to tell y'all, but y'all don't want to listen to the coach. I'm gonna say, I tried to tell y'all. But it is what you think it is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.